Hi everybody, welcome to Paper Wishes Weekly Webisodes. Today I have got a great collection from our friends at Hunky Dory Crafts. These are beautiful shaped cards. We have got this heart fold, car, heart fold card, we've got scalloped gate fold card, zigzag fold card, easel aperture card, and a shaped center stepper card. Together they make cards like this one beautiful using our Strawberry Delight paper collection. If you watch to the end of the video, you'll learn how you can win this card. We're gonna choose one winner for those of you who are subscribed, like, and comment on our YouTube channel. So watch to the end of the video and there's instructions about how to do that. So come play with us. All right, the zigzag fold card. My friend Debbie made all of these cards, you guys, and she did an amazing job for her background paper, she actually covered the card base just to make it extra strong with a Strawberry Delight solid cardstock. And then she used the adorable, beautiful little Strawberry Delight. I think she used six by six um, Strawberry Delight, but I grabbed the 12 by 12. So look down below for the link on that one. We'll make sure that's correct. But you could also use 12 by 12 as well. And then she used the beautiful little strawberry cutting die. And then of course you gotta add some little sparkles to that up above. We've got our little cherry crystals. So you guys, on these cards, these shape cards, this is how they come. They all come with envelopes, okay? So you don't have to worry about sourcing the envelope. And this one already is folded and ready to go. So you could ink on this, you could stamp on it. It's a really nice weight. You could do what Debbie did and cover it again with cardstock, with paper, and really load it up with all kinds of great goodies, okay? So this is a really nice and easy shape. I think it's really versatile. So this is the card that we're gonna choose a winner to give away, watch to the end of the video. All right, the next one, oops, here we go. Look at this adorable honeybee. And this one, let me grab it. All right, this one is the uh, scalloped gatefold. And this one comes like this, and you have to do a little bit of folding on it, but it's already scored and everything's ready to go here. And it's just a series of mountain and valley folds, and I'll show you how to fold that in a moment. But let's take a better look at this card. Look at that, it's so cute. Debbie used our brand new Be Happy collection in six by six. It fit really nicely on these panels and the image of the little artwork is just delicate and perfect. She also used some solid card stock for the little Be Happy and the little die cut images here which come right here with the coordinating die cuts. And don't forget those little wood beads that bees that she added and then some little yellow self-adhesive crystals. So man, she really blinged this up. This is so cute. So to make this card, as I said, just a series of mountain and valley folds, it's nice to have a bone folder handy. So what we're gonna do is start with the valley fold. And a valley fold is you're in the valley, you're in the mountain. Okay, so a valley fold like this, and then we're just gonna score that on both sides. All right, and then we're gonna do the valley. Or excuse me, now we're gonna do the mountain. <laughs> uh, there we go. All right, so you've got valley here, mountain here, and that puts it together just like this. And then you can go ahead and cover it with your papers. And as you can see here, she did a little inking as well really really cute she also used for the honey we love with this collection adding a little 3d crystal lacquer it just squeezes out clear and the thicker you put it on it does take a little longer the thicker you put it on but um, it gives this really glossy thick finish and it looks just like honey okay what have we got next oh yes let's take a look at this one is the Heart fold card envelope and with envelope. And look at this one that Debbie made. So you just open that right up. Look at that. And then you can write inside and do your greeting. So what Debbie did with hers is she used, um, first of all, she used an ink pad. She used a couple of ink pads on her background, um, teal, and then a little bit of green right here. And then she used a purple color on top of that to do her butterfly stencil. And then the chipboard pieces right here, which she also colored with ink pads um, very easily. 
And then we've got this wonderful tulip and butterfly chipboard right here where she layered one on top of the other. So cute. So it would be great on this one is to open this up and then you just take your ink pads and you're gonna ink the surface of that. It's nice to use some post-it notes right here and right here to mask off the area and then to do this one and this one and then to do the darker one in case you overlap a little bit. That keeps things nice and tidy. But to fold this one, you guys, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this one and fold it in half, score, okay? And then you're just gonna follow the lines and you're gonna fold it in half. What didn't I do? This one, this one, okay, I lost my place. And this one, you're gonna fold it in half like this. And then it's the two pieces right here. This one right here, we're gonna do that shape. All right, so you're gonna just kinda go in like this, in like this, and you're just gonna, and then you're just gonna go and take these folded pieces, and you just go like that. So these folded, um, the score line right here needs to go in the middle, and these two hearts don't have score lines, so that's your top and your bottom. That's how you get oriented. For a moment there, I lost my place. There you go, and you're just gonna go like that, and then make sure that that's got a really nice crease on there. And that's all there is to it. So yeah, super fun on that one. All right, uh, let's do this one. All right, you guys, this one is the easel aperture card. All right, so this one, look at that. And then it has this piece right here, okay? And we're gonna take this and you just tuck it right in there. And then it stands up like this and has such a nice presentation, all right? Let's take a look at that one again. All right, so it comes folded like that. And then you're just gonna take the back, the, this inside piece, and you just tuck it right in there. And you'll notice that Debbie put a greeting here and a greeting here so that when it's tucked, you have something to look at, a little greeting at the top and the bottom on the inside. I think that's important. All right, so this thing right here already comes folded. You would just take that scored line and just do that. And there's another scored line. I'm just gonna do that. Let's use our bone folder, Lene. Okay, and then you're just doing this. That's all there is to it. It's really simple, and it's a, such a nice presentation to send someone. So let's take a look at what she used to cover all of this. So she used, appropriately, because it is a window, she used our window view 12 by 12 pattern cardstock to cover all the pieces here. You'd wanna use a little X-Acto knife around the edge, or what I just like to do is I cover, put glue on the surface here, and I cover it with paper, and then I just take my little scissors and I just sort of stab the center and then cut around that window. That makes it a little easier if you're not great with the cutting knife. Um, then she used a sheet of acetate. Well, you can buy this by the sheet at Paper Wishes. We'll list that down below. And um, then she die cut using the window cutting die, this beautiful arch window. And she used the coordinating solid cardstock in this nice blue to cut that from. All right, and then she outlined the entire opening here with some beautiful, beautiful purple jewel dazzle stickers. Really nice. And then added some flowers. Gorgeous. We've got these beautiful little florets from. 49 Market, this one is purple, and there's a couple of shades of purple in here. It's called Kismet. The white ones are salt, and then these peachy ones are mango, or I guess the mango ones are mango. And um, yeah, the little cutout here, die cut, also is included there. So cute, I love what she did with that one. All right, we have one last one. 
and that is this one is the shaped center stepper card I grab this one look at this one the Debbie made isn't that gorgeous oh I think that is fantastic so what she did was this one comes like this okay and this one has the most mountain and valley folds so when I was folding this I went ahead and I started with the center and I just folded that one and then the back part right here we knew that one is going to have to be a mountain fold and then this one down here these are valley folds right there and then right there got another one so it just kind of goes like that it's very intuitive to put this one together and it's so pretty she covered her card with this beautiful sea foam and pearls 12 by 12 um, pattern cardstock I love how she put the fish on the pattern right in the center so with this chipboard ship right here that coordinates with this it looks like there's like a giant fish down below I think that is so cool and then she used the die cuts right here for her greeting so cute she used um, some heavy inking with some blue ink on the inside and outside edges and she just did a fantastic job with this one she colored these with tri blend markers from spectrum noir and you can see all of the ink pads and all of the colors of pens that she used if you click on this card down below our video and you can see every color that she used and you can just add them directly into your cart if you're interested so you guys we have a fantastic money saver on this collection I'm going to go ahead and gather all my cards as I talk to you about this they are, it's a fantastic collection and I think that these are perfect to have in your stash you get multiple like five cards for each of these which is just fantastic oh, I'm having struggles there we go and it's great collection the last time we had a shape card video they sold like gangbusters so I wouldn't wait on these there's five different styles of cards and remember, this is the one we're going to be giving away to one lucky viewer. Follow the instructions at the end of the video. You have to be a subscriber on our YouTube channel. You have to give us a thumbs up and you have to comment in order to participate. But as I said, just read those instructions at the end of the video and it'll walk you all the way through it. Don't forget about that money saver. Thanks so much for joining me today, you guys. See you in the next one.